Hi everyone, welcome to our tutorial on integrating Firebase authentication with Angular. If you've been wanting to add seamless authentication to your Angular app, then this video is for you. Today, we are going to dive into how to set up Google Firebase authentication, including the UI and styling using Angular Material and Bootstrap to give it a slick professional look. In this video, we will walk you through everything step by step so even if you are new to Firebase or Angular, you will be able to follow along and implement uh, authentication easily. Here is what we will cover. First, we're going to start by setting up Firebase in our Angular project. Then we're going to setting Angular Material and Bootstrap for styling. And then we're going to implement the authentication with Angular using Firebase. So we were going to implement sign in with Google or custom sign in option. Then we're going to create a responsive login, logout interfaces. After that, we'll guide you through how to test and debug in case you have errors. By the end of this video, you will have a fully functional Firebase authentication system in your Angular app, whether you're building a small personal project or a large application. Firebase makes authentication easier, and with Angular Material and Bootstrap, your app will look and feel amazing. So let's get started and dive into the world of Firebase authentication in Angular. Make sure to subscribe and hit the not that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new tutorials. Let's build this together. The application that we are building today is a very basic application in which the user will be allowed to sign in or sign up. And if the user signs in, you will be able to uh, see the dashboard. Otherwise, the dashboard will be blocked. So when you try to navigate to the dashboard manually, the application will redirect you back to the sign in. And when you sign in, you will be able to see the dashboard of the application. And that's the purpose of uh, the authentication in, uh, in general. So I'm going to uh, sign up right now. So you'll be able either to sign in if you have already a user account. If you don't, you just need to click on sign up. And then here you can provide your email and a password. It has to be a strong password so that Google accepts it. I will sign up. Once the sign up is successful, I'm able to be redirected to the dashboard. So before that, I cannot. But now, since I signed in, I will be able to see the dashboard of my application. And after that, when I sign out and try again to go to the same location it will always redirect me back to my sign in um, form and now since i created that account i will be able to sign in again and see the dashboard once again so i can see my username and or yeah my username actually it's an email and i can also sign in or sign up with google so to sign in or sign up with google i just click on sign in with google and this will open up a pop-up for me to select my account but since I already selected my account in the past, so it will just redirect me to my profile or my or the dashboard directly. If you didn't do it, it will ask you to choose the account that you have and you will choose your Google account. That's it. So you will be redirected to this uh, dashboard. So it's a very basic application, but it's it can be a boilerplate for your authentication application or any application you'd like to build. So you can use this as a boilerplate. To help you to follow along with our tutorial, we are going to share with you the source code of the application that we have built already. All you have to do is take it from there and uh, try to experiment yourself and see if you make mistakes. Keep in mind though that we didn't share our Firebase project properties and you have to do that manually by changing the uh, properties of the Firebase authentication within Angular by your own, uh, let's say, uh, Firebase project information. And to do that, you just go to the app module. And from there, you will see that I have places, some placeholders for you so that if you did it manually, you have to place these manually using your Firebase project information. The application will be built uh, through different steps and episodes. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to receive uh, updates when we upload new episodes. So stay tuned and I hope that you will enjoy what you see. Thank you.